That's it. And paradigm, I mean, paradigm is probably that and first round are the two biggest. I mean, mm-hmm. what's Connor, Izzy, who else? Connor, Izzy, I mean, Cyborg. You got wow. Leon Edwards. Um, who's the guy that just fought? Um, the Leech. The Leech just fought. Who they represent him? They were, Did you watch that card yesterday? Dude, it was wild. Ho- I mean, come on, Holloway. Dude, Holloway was on some next level <laughs> shit. Man. I thought that was honestly the single greatest performance in UFC history. Dude, it was it was wild. It's like it's like there was no <laughs> denying him. He's like, and the fact that people were saying that he was gonna lose. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And he was like, nah, man. The fact that he's talking, he was talking to DC. <laughs> he's Jeff talking to DC and Anna. And he was like, whoop, 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 whoop. I'm like, Jesus, man. That was wild. That was unbelievable. I mean, he just looked like unstoppable. He looked like the best featherweight in the world. Dude. Like, that got me even more fired up to really? come back and fight. Yeah. It was like, damn. What's that like when you're watching it and you're watching it on the couch and you're just like relaxing, watching little fights and you see that kind of shit? Dude, it gets you hyped. You know what what got me to be like, dude, I got to get back into training as fast as oh, I can. Um, this is a fight because I fought Danny Gay right. like a while back. You know, he was my first fight in the right, UFC. Right, right. And the fact that he was in a main event against Cater. Against, against Cater. And I was like, damn, bro. It's like, that should be fucking me yeah. up there. It's like, that should be me. I mean, even though I'm dropping 35 now, but it, I'm just like, dude, I can't I can't keep sitting here. I got I to gotta right. get back to training. I got to get back to freaking doing what I what I was always doing, get back to the basics, the roots, no distractions, no nothing, like just focus on what you want. And I'm like... And I think also what's what's even more impressive with you too is like, you look at your record, you got the two losses to, to Kelleher, mm-hmm. and then two splits, which yeah. easily could have gone your way, right? Yeah. So it's like, you really, and you really haven't dropped many rounds in the UFC. You know, and then, well, you got injured, so, you know, out for a little. But, like, you're young. You feel good. Now you're, you know. Yeah, man. I mean, the sky, I, I truly believe, I mean, obviously, I'm always rooting for you on another level. But, like, I truly think the sky is the limit. No? Yeah, man. It's it's like, now coming back, and my coach, uh, Tiger, we, we was talking, he's like, dude, it's like, it's like uh, I'm happy that you're 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 back. Fine, you're going to drop 35. It's like, it's like, just get your mind up, man. Get yourself yeah. just focused and just... It's like, it's like I'm glad to see like the hunger and the fire mm-hmm. back in you. I'm like, you know, like, yeah. It's like this time off and after the surge, like during the surgery, after the surgery, and just the healing up. It's like, it just it, it kind of re- reignites the fire. Right. You know, like some people have been fine for a while. Sometimes it starts to get like, um, like in a way, it kind of it's it. I wouldn't say it gets boring, but it gets like, like uh, yeah, repetitive. Yeah. And during that time off, it like reignites your fire. You like, it's like, yo, I, like I beat that dude. Mm-hmm. It's like, fuck, man, I gotta get back yeah. in there, man. It's like, it's like, let's do it, man. Let's freaking do it. So it got me. It just like, it reignited, like the whole fi- my fire behind it. It made me just want to fight more. It made me want more because it was taken away from me. Right. So. And do you do any other kind of, I mean, I know some people have like sports psychologists and stuff like that. Do you do, do you have a sports psychologist or anyone yeah. you talk to about that? I talk to, um, his name is, is, is Greg and I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to butcher his last name. Greg <laughs> should talk. Greg, don't come at me for this, man. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've been talking to him. I, when the moment I got, I knew I was going to get surgery. I actually started talking to him because, you know, I wanted to, you know, maybe it's like, in a way, it's kind of like a unlock something that maybe in my mind is like holding me back or that I can do better. You know, I was also like, I was pretty nervous about surgeries because this was my first yeah. major surgery. Right, right. So, you, you know, like I was nervous about that. Then, of course, it's like, damn, you know, I'm going to get surgery. I'm going to be on the shelf. You know, I'm going to be feeling like this. And, you know, just just talking to him and just really just just looking at different perspectives. And, dude, he was he was a great help during this. What are some of those, I mean, you know, without telling everything, obviously, but like, what are those, some, some of those conversations like? Like, what do you, what did you feel like you were exactly like trying to unlock, if you will, or get past or over or, um, you know, if it was a fear? I mean, you know, that's, um, I guess everybody, everybody's different. Uh, part of me was just like, even like something simple is like, look, when you, when you go fight, it's like, why, why, why are you? Why are you waiting so long to get yourself started? Mm. Um, 
is there something that like or in the in the fight is there something that you might be afraid of you know is there something that you know you're you're just not letting out because it's like because for whatever whatever reason um and just really seeing you know trying to like it's kind of like you're you're opening a door to see it's like okay in this time during my life it's like what is it that held me back mm -hmm. what is it that i could have done better okay why why did why did this happen or like if a situation that was happening like even like during surgery why was i feeling this way mm -hmm. um my decision to go to 35 um, and just, just like hitting every aspect of it because, you know, we don't realize, man, it's like at first when I was like, man, should I even talk to it? Should I even talk to somebody? You're like, man, I feel like it was. It's like, it's like yeah. you have like that kind of mindset. It's like, I don't need to talk to anybody. But then you realize it's like, wow, man, like it was really he's, he's super helpful about it. Right. And it, it, it changed a lot of perspectives, even like in, in the way I train, it's like, you know, there was there was points in in my training where I I kind of I was set in my ways. Okay. So meaning it's like I was like, nah, you know, like this is the way it's done. Like that's the way it's done. But now it's like, all right, you know, like let me let me add that to what I'm doing. Mm. Like you you start kind of maturing. Yeah, you start maturing. You start like turning into like a you know like when little kids like they're sponges, so they absorb all the knowledge that you give them. And it's like, I, I went back to that. I went back to, you know, people say like, empty your cup. I'm like, no, I drank my, I drank my cup. I'm going to, I want to refill. And I want that refill with new stuff to mm -hmm. implement. And I just kept doing that. I just kept drinking my cup of water each time and just kept absorbing more knowledge. And it, it's, it's, it's been, it's been great. It's like, I'll, I'll take everything. It's like somebody gives me like a, like an advice of something, you know, People tend to kind of look at it as like, ah, whatever. Yeah. I was like, I'm like, all right, you know, like maybe that's a that's a detail that I knew. Maybe I forgot about it. I'm like, thanks for that. It's like, like, thank you for that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram at Felix.Levine. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment.